Hello everyone. This is image number eight for the summer interpretation seminar course for D3 students at the University of Minnesota School of Dentistry. We have a single peripical radiograph from the mandibular premolar region to understand the concept of hypodontia. In the fall semester of D2 year, we had earlier learned about hypodontia. On this mandibular left premolar radiograph, we see the first molar, deciduous second molar, and first premolar. The second premolar is missing. There are several findings with this deciduous second molar. The root of the molar is shorter than usual. There is no signs of pedial space or lamina dura. Compare this with the pedial space and lamina dura of the first permanent molar as well as the premolar. So the absence of the pedial space and the lamina dura indicates that this tooth is enclosed. Compared to the occlusal surfaces of the first molar and first premolar, we'll consider the deciduous molar as submerged. Further, we see a carious lesion on the distal surface. Congenitally missing teeth can be classified into three categories. If we have a few teeth that are missing, we'll call this as hypodontia. If we have six or more teeth that are missing, we'll call this as oligodontia. This six will not include the third molars. If all the teeth are missing, then it is called anodontia. Remember that these names are only related to developmental anomalies where teeth are congenitally missing. If you have extracted six or more teeth, it will not be considered as oligodontia. If all the teeth are extracted, this is edentulous jaw. This is not considered anodontia. The most common congenitally missing teeth are third molars, followed by maxillary second premolars, followed by mandibular second premolars, maxillary lateral incisors, mandibular canines, and then all other teeth. Oligodontia or anodontia may occur because of several reasons. Most common is different kinds of syndromes. Of this, a common condition is ectodermal dysplasia. I will show you a CBCT scan of a patient with ectodermal dysplasia. Finally, therapeutic radiation to the jaws at an early age may cause oligodontia or anodontia. In many situations, you may have microdontia and stunting of the roots. Here is an example of a CBCT scan of a patient with ectodermal dysplasia. This 3D rendering shows multiple missing teeth of both the jaws. Thank you very much and I'll see you again on a different video.